Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's recent visit to New York failed to grab attention in the United States, as a royal expert notes that only one American outlet provided coverage of their trip. Russell Myers questions whether they are as adored in the U.S. as previously thought after their trip was largely ignored by the vast majority of news outlets. The couple spent three days in the city where they conducted a number of official engagements. Royal expert Russell Myers told the podcast Pod Save the Queen, I was really interested in what traction this got in the States and the only thing I've seen that was banding around Twitter was the New York Post taking a swipe at them for rolling up in town in a load of gas-guzzling vehicles, big old security detail. I don't think it did get a lot of traction in the United States. I'm not too sure, obviously there is an audience for them and we are covering it, I don't know necessarily whether they are as adored in the United States as we were first thinking. Certainly, they do have potentially a lot more supporters in the States than here. In the UK, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have seen their popularity diminish after their decision to step down from the royal family. According to YouGov, they are currently ranked as the 1th and 14th most popular members of the monarchy, with an approval rating of only 2%. The couple's trip to New York marked their first official joint outing since stepping down as senior working royals, and Meghan's first public engagement since giving birth to their daughter Lilibet Diana. The two arrived from California on September 22 and spent three days touring the city, culminating with their appearance at the Global Citizen Live concert. Engagements included a visit to the One World Trade Center with New York's Mayor, Bill de Blasio, a meeting with the World Health Organization, and a visit to a primary school in Harlem. Following a visit with Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., she said that the couple had participated in discussions regarding vaccine equity and climate change. Speaking of their work in New York, Russell Myers continued, it's a fairly valiant aspect of what they're talking about, they're talking about vaccine equality, climate change, these are real issues of our time that we should be talking about. The couple's final engagement saw them take to the stage at the Global Citizen Live concert in Central Park, where they criticized the ultra-wealthy pharmaceutical companies for withholding their vaccine recipes. Prince Harry and Meghan have previously done work to raise awareness of vaccine equity, with the Duke giving a speech during the Global Vax Live concert in May and the couple fundraising for the Global Vaccine Alliance Fund for their son Archie's birthday. The Duke of Sussex is next expected to visit New York in November, where he will attend the inaugural Salute to Freedom Gala, which honors military personnel and veterans. The couple moved to the United States following their departure from the royal family in March 2020. The couple bought a home last summer in Montecito, California, where they currently reside with their two young children. Since stepping down as senior working royals, the couple have launched the non-profit foundation Archwell, as well as signed several deals with Netflix and Spotify, as they transition from members of the monarchy to public figures.